These are my quarterfinal three and four predictions and betting tips. It's Morocco versus Portugal and England taking on France. If you want a more in-depth view at these games, I did post a quarterfinal prediction where I predicted who advances with more of a game preview. This one will be more focused on the betting tip side of things. But before we jump into today's video, I need to tell you a little bit about our sponsor, OneFootball. OneFootball is a free app that I use daily that will keep you up to date with the teams you care about like Morocco, Portugal, England, or France. The competitions you care about like the World Cup for now and then the Premier League, Serie A, La Liga and many more from around the world. OneFootball will keep you up to date with the latest news. You can track transfers like when Ronaldo chooses his club that he's going to go play for. You can follow the matches you care about with their live ticker features, check lineups, watch videos and highlights from games and much, much more. So use the link in my description to download OneFootball. It's an app that's free. Keep up to date with the sport that we love and it also helps me out more than you know. A huge thanks to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into Morocco versus Portugal. Quarterfinal three sees Morocco taking on Portugal and this is a massive quarterfinal. We could see the first African side qualify for the semi-finals of a World Cup, but we could also get one step closer to that Argentina versus Portugal final that everyone wants to see. Now, if you think that Morocco are coming into this game and they don't stand a chance, you're sorely mistaken. Besides the own goal that Morocco let in against Canada, they haven't conceded a goal since August. Against Croatia in the World Cup, they didn't concede. They didn't concede against Belgium, and now they didn't concede against Spain and then ended up beating Spain in the round of 16. Now Portugal on the other hand, they didn't have a very convincing group stage. They beat uh, Ghana 3-2. They then beat Uruguay 2-0 which was probably their best win in the group stage. And then they came up against South Korea in the final match. They actually lost that game 2-1. They then moved into the round of 16 against what I thought was pretty stiff competition, Switzerland. And they ended up battering that Switzerland team 6 one. The massive talking points around that game was that Cristiano Ronaldo was benched and that 21-year-old Ramos started before him. And Ramos ended up scoring a hat-trick, which is three times more goals than Cristiano Ronaldo has scored in knockout stages at a World Cup. Now, it's going to be interesting to see where the Santos... Uh, the Portuguese coach sticks to his guns here and plays Ramos ahead of Ronaldo again. Something tells me he will, seeing as he's just scored a hat-trick for Portugal. But I do think Portugal are going to struggle to unlock this Moroccan defense. Yes, they look very fluid and very threatening on attack against Switzerland in the round of 16. But this Moroccan defense is probably one of the best in the competition and they've shown us why. Now, Ziyech, Amrabat and Bufal all returned after they were rested for the round of 16 game. They all played phenomenally well, but a shout-out does have to go to Bono, the Moroccan keeper who ended up winning them the penalty shootout by saving three penalties. Now, if we look at this game as a whole, Portugal are definitely favorites. The bookies favor them. Morocco are massive underdogs, just like they were against Spain, and they came out on top. I do think Morocco have a goal in them. They are going to stick to their game plan where they sit back, they defend, 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 have 25 to 40% possession, and then they're going to have to take their chances on the counter-attack. We saw them as two or three big chances against Spain in the round of 16, and they can't miss those against Portugal because I do think Portugal will be the first side since August to breach this Moroccan defense. Now, I do think this is going to be very, very tight. I'm going for a 1-1 draw after extra time. I do think it goes into penalties. I also think Morocco could win it in the normal 90 minutes 1-0 if their defense holds up but my betting tip is Morocco to win or draw and advance to the semi-finals of the World Cup Then the final quarterfinal of the 2022 World Cup is England versus France. And World Cup matches don't get much bigger than this. This probably could have been a final. That's the magnitude of this game. We get to see two teams who are in form, who have been scoring goals on both sides. And we get to see that Harry Kane versus Mbappe matchup. Now I'm going to start with this. France didn't look that good against Poland in the round of 16. They eventually won it 3-1. Kylian Mbappe scored two goals out of absolutely nowhere. And he is in red hot Form at the moment. It's a matter if that back line of England can withstand the pressure that Mbappe puts on them and whether Mbappe will get on the score sheet. Now, for Mbappe, they still have Giroud and Griezmann who could definitely find the back of the net for this France side. Now, for England, in years past, England have been hindered by only one player in their team really performing and carry the team. But now, in this World Cup, it's completely different. They have so many stars all over the pitch. Harry Kane, Jude Bellingham, absolutely incredible find. Rashford's in great form. Saka, 
Phil Foden, even Jordan Henderson scored the other night. These, this is a team that has a lot of, of attacking capability with so many different players on the pitch who can all contribute at different times in the game. They're not just relying on that one talisman like Harry Kane, for instance. Now, both of these teams have shown us that they can score goals. The only team to keep a clean sheet against England was the USA, where England didn't really look like themselves. And then for France, it was against Tunisia in that 1-0 loss. To be fair, they made nine rotations. But I do think we can expect a high scoring game here. I do think France are definitely the slight favorites, even though I think it's more on uh, even playing fields. This really is a toss of a coin. But like we know, England at some point in a World Cup bottle it. Yes, I know England's team is a lot better than it normally was. But England still have that mentality. They still have that chip on their shoulder that they bottle World Cup. So for that reason, I do think that France will come out victors here. I do think after extra time, it will be 2-1 to France. I'm not sure that we'll be needing to go to penalties, but it will be high scoring. And when I say high scoring, high scoring for a knockout game. I do think both teams are going to score and I do think there's going to be over two and a half goals before penalties. So this is quite a long bet, but I do think it's worth it and it can definitely pay off. So we've got France to win and over two and a half goals in the game and Kylian Mbappe anytime goal scorer. And those odds are close to five to one. So use your own discretion. If you don't like one of those, leave them out. But that is the bet I'm going to be going for. Guys, that about wraps it up. I've got Morocco to win or draw, and I've got France to win over two and a half goals and Kylian Mbappe to be any time goal scorer. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and click the link in my description to download OneFootball, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.